Hi everybody, it's Julie from the Fairview Public Library and welcome to Imagine Your Stories edition of Artable. Today we're going to paint a really, really cute face of roses and this is a fantasy painting. It's whimsical, it's supposed to look sort of like a cartoon page or a coloring book page, which is why everything is outlined in black. And we've added the word hope on the bottom because everyone could use some hope in these uncertain times that we're going through right now. So what we need today is we're going to need a one inch flat brush or one and a half inch, whatever you have lying around the house. You're going to need a filbert brush, which is my very favorite brush. It looks like a finger, the end of your finger. It's curved on the edge. I use filberts for a lot of things. We're going to need a small round liner brush and it needs to have like a point on the end of it because we want a really fine line for some of the detailing that we're doing. You need yellow acrylic paint. You're going to need some blue. You're going to need white. We're going to use a little bit of the purple, green, black, red, or magenta. Either one or both. You might want to use both. And you can use any kind of surface that you want to paint on. I was going to use some slate that I had at the house, but I forgot it today. So I'm going to go ahead and use another canvas. But you can use anything, a piece of wood if you have it. Um, I don't know, anything flat that you have around your house might be really interesting to use. And if you do use something else, or even if you don't, if you do it on canvases, send it to me at jmike at mcpls.org. I'd love to see your ideas of what you've come up with. So let's get started. Around the painting. And we're gonna take, it's kind of got a bluish, purplish, kind of look to it. So we're going to take some purple, just squirt that out. We're going to take some white. And we're going to take a little bit of blue because you've got some bluish right in there. Take a little bit of blue. All right, so here's what I've got. I've got some purple, I've got some white, I've got a little bit of blue. I'm gonna take a little bit of water on my brush and I'm gonna use mostly white and just grab a little bit of purple there and mix that because I kind of want it light. Take a tiny bit of blue in there too. Keep mixing a little bit with water. That's kind of the color we want, sort of a lilac. A bit more water. We're just going to cover the whole background with that. You can make it a little bit darker if you want, a little bit lighter if you want. And this background is not going to, we're not going to blend it perfectly because this is kind of a whimsical looking painting. So we want some brush strokes showing through. We just want to make sure we get the whole canvas covered. We don't want any white peeking through there. And if I want to make the background like a little bit darker in places, see there? Now I just add a little more purple. Now I've got these different variations of color going on here, which is really pretty. Adding a little more, a little more, a little more. Your colors that you want. A little more blue, a little less blue, a little more purple. And as we sort of get down towards the bottom, got a little more blue going on there. Well, I'm just putting a little more blue on my brush. I 
this part I'm going to keep kind of light and I'm actually going to take some more white to paint on down at the bottom because you've got the vase right here and you really can't, you're not going to be able to see those colors. So I'm just wanting to get the canvas covered kind of down at this point. Now we've got the table here, which is about the same color really, but I'm going to push going on right there. All right, it's a little bit lighter than what I've got going on back there, but I like this. It's, um, it's more upbeat to me, so I'm going to leave that like that. Now we need to let our background dry. And if you want to take a break and let your background dry, you can. I grab the heat gun or blow dryer, whichever one you want to use. I grabbed that on my way back in. So I'm just going to take this, I'm going to dry the background. Doesn't take very long for acrylics to dry. Look how that's the different, um, Shades are coming up. It's dry. I really like that. That sort of looks like a, a, a sky over the ocean. I'm going to keep that in mind for another painting. draw where I want my vase and my flowers. If you want to use chalk, you can. If you want to do it freehand, you're more welcome, more than welcome to do that. I feel more comfortable drawing something in there. So our vase, I'm going to kind of put a little line right here and bring our vase down like this. Just like that. There's our vase. Nice big vase. And there's going to be probably a rose going on right here. Just making a squiggly line. Another rose going on right here. Another rose going on up here. And we've got these flowers that all they are is a curved line up curve line under. That's all these flowers are. So I'm going to make a bunch of the curves like this. This is a pretty nice full flower. And we've got this flower here. more curves. Curve one way and a curve the other way. This curve is, this flower is kind of on the outside of the rose. Then we've got this little flower coming out that way. I don't know what I want to do here. I think I'm going to just Draw. He's going to be hanging down a little farther than he is in that painting, the first painting. Then we've got a little butt up here, just an oval, a little bit bigger bud right here, the oval. They're going down this way. There comes our stems. We've got one leaf right here. A leaf right here. I've got a leaf coming out here. Just like that. I'm 
And I think that's it. Maybe I got that far just a little bit, but we'll work with that and see what happens. All right, now we're going to start, we're gonna go ahead and do this first, our vase. Our vase has got, it's a light purple. So I'm gonna take my filbert brush I'm going to add a little bit of water, I'm going to grab a little bit of purple, and mix it with some white. We want a light purple. Nice light purple. That's about that color right there. I'm just going to go in, and I'm going to paint my vase. And actually, as I get it in here, Actually, a little too light, so I'm going to add some, a little bit of darker purple. I want it to pop out of the background a little bit. There we go, that's better. Now, if your acrylics aren't really aren't artist quality, your pigment may not be as dark as some brands are. And that's okay. It's just gonna mean that you may have to go over this a couple of times to get the coverage that you're wanting. The ones that I'm using are basic student grade acrylics. So I may have to go over some of this stuff. And that's okay. Kind of covering up my uh, my leaves. I have to draw those back in. This one is going to be a squatty base. I'm really anxious to see if any of you have picked something different to paint on. Because whatever you paint on, that's going to determine the size of your flowers, the size of your vase. may not look exactly like what I've got. Now this vase is curved. So when you paint, if you curve your brush, curve it around like that, it's gonna give you the illusion that your vase is curved, which is what you're wanting. Just paint it in the direction that you are needing it to look. That's a little fat squatty base. Now, we've got a little bit of light shining there on the base. So we're just gonna take a little bit of white and we're just gonna kind of curve down a little bit. I don't want it real pronounced. give you the, the idea that you've got some light hidden the base like that. Now if we want to really kind of make it show that it is kind of curved, we'll just go across it like this because the whole base is going to curve up, up around to go in. So we could just put a few strokes like that and that's going to give you the feeling that yeah, that whole thing's curved. All right. Now that we're done with the base, we're gonna go ahead and do some of the roses up here. And we're gonna want, I think I'm gonna go with, we're gonna go with the red and lighten it up a little bit with white because I kind of want red roses. I did these others in pink, but the contrast wasn't there, so I think I'm gonna do these in red. And we're gonna use white and we're gonna use red together. Now what you're doing with these roses is, I'm gonna mix a little bit of white with my red to 
just to give me a background. And that's giving me pink. I'm just going to fill these in first. With a little bit of the light pink. Just because our background is purple. So I kind of want to put a base down there to work on. So the purple won't show through too much. So we're going to build this up. See, that's what you have. This is what you have to do when you don't have really, really good quality paints because they're a little bit trans more transparent than the better quality ones are, but you can work with that. This is just giving us a background to build on top of. painting around this yellow flower that I've got. That way I just won't have to do a whole, whole, whole lot of extra work to get the yellow in there. All right. Now while that's drying a little bit, before we start layering, I think I'm going to go up and I'm going to go ahead and paint those little blue buds in, just for something to do. That way we're out of the way of these colors here that are drying. I'm going to take a little bit of my blue, a little bit of white, just want to lighten it a little bit, not a whole lot. up here I'm gonna just make these kind of curved. You don't have to do too much work to these buds. So that's that. Now if I take a little darker blue them some depth. I don't want to do a whole lot of messing with them until this bottom layer dries because as I've told you before, if you go and try to put on another color before the bottom dries really well, it's going to lift off your bottom layer. That's the bad thing about acrylics. They dry really quickly. They mix really easily. That's a, those are good things. But you have to kind of be patient and let the background dry. Because if you don't do that, oils you can just mix together. And they kind of stay put because they have a heavier body. But acrylics do not. So I, and I'm going to go ahead and take this and do some more drawing here. What's nice about a heat gun or a blow dryer? If you don't have a lot of patience, you can dry really quickly. go ahead and layer some of these roses. Now, these roses are whimsical. This is, this is not a realistic painting. This is, it's an impressionist painting. It's not really an abstract because you can tell what these are supposed to be. But 
it is kind of impressionistic. Now I'm going to put a dark circle, sort of a circle, right in the middle of my roses. And then how we're going to build these roses up. We're just going to mix, start mixing a little bit of white with our red. And you're kind of going to do a very relaxed C, backwards C. Let's start here and we're going to just make a squiggly looking C. Roses have layers and they're not uniform layers. So one starts here, the other side is not going to come exactly as the first one is. It's going to come up like a little bit higher and come around. The next side is going to start maybe here and come up around and down farther than the first one. And we can alternate lights and darks if we want to. Here, I'm going to start this one right maybe here. And bring it up like that. Start this one maybe here. And bring it up around. And give this one a little bit lighter look. Start this one here maybe. We're going to do the same thing with the other one. Now when we get done with all this and, we're, and it's dry, we're going to take our black and we're going to outline all those. That's what's going to give it really the look that it's, a, it's an actual rose. So I'm going to start here. Bring this there. If you want your roses to be darker, I'm sure you may have like a different color red. You can use any color red you want. If you want your roses to be yellow, of course you're going to have to change the yellow of these. But if you want your roses yellow, if you want your roses pink, you can do your roses any color you want. This is your painting. Since I've got the red here, I'm going to put some lighter pink in there just to give it some contrast.
pretty. I like that. I think I'm going to take a really light pink. alternating lights and darks. all you have to do. Back and forth. There's no really right way or wrong way to do this. It's supposed to be whimsical. We'll let that dry for just a minute. Okay, so now while we're waiting for the rest of this to dry, we're gonna go ahead and do these yellow flowers. So I'm gonna put on a little bit of yellow. And I'm going to continue to use my filbert. Filbert brushes make really good flower petals because they're curved on the end, so you can get a nice little point out of them. And I may have to go over this yellow a couple of times because, as you can see, it's not real, real good, not real good quality paint. So. Stuff is going to show through. Yep, that's okay. We can go over it if we need to. And all we do, with the fill, since we have the filbert, just kind of a wide brush, pretty much only takes a couple of strokes. get our flowers. I might not want my petals, this flower right here, I may not want it as big as I had anticipated it at first. Because I really kind of want to, I want this little stem here to be more pronounced, so I think I'm going to just bring this back a little bit. Bring this down like that. And I'll go ahead and do one here. And maybe a little one here. Okay, 
So that's all I'm going to do there until that dries. Now since most of this is dry, I'm going to go ahead and put these leaves in right now. Is this leaf? And I'm going to go ahead and since I'm waiting for these to dry a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and put my stems in. So I'm going to get some green out here. I want, still going to use the filbert. I want these leaves to be kind of vibrant. So this green's pretty dark. This green is actually uh, deep green. So I'm going to add a little bit, I think I add a little bit of white to this. And actually, I'm going to add some yellow as well. It'll give it a nice little color. See, I really like that color green that's coming out there. It's more of a spring happy green, I think. So I'll do a little bit of water. And I'm just gonna go ahead and paint this leaf in. And again, I'm probably gonna have to go over this several times. Yeah, but that's okay. Now I'm not, I'm gonna go ahead and put my stem in. I'm gonna rinse out this filbert brush and I'm gonna change to my liner brush for a minute or two. This stem is black, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of black I put, haven't put black out yet. A little bit black out right now. And I'm just gonna kind of roll a little bit of water on my brush, but then I'm gonna roll this brush like this. So roll it in the paint, because if you have a liner brush that has the tip on it, when you roll it, it makes that tip really, really sharp which is what you want when you're doing detail. And I'm just gonna bring this down like that. And that is my stem for my leaves. Now I've got a base to go ahead and put my little leaves on. And I'll rinse out my brush, go back to my filbert, pick up some of that green, Bit of water. Pick up some of that green and let this be a little darker than the others. You know, the first one. And I've got a little leaf here. Got a little leaf here. See how that filter just, it, it's, it's almost effortless. You don't have to part, hardly put any effort into that. Okay, we've got these stalks right here. Now, if you want, you can do, you can use the filbert and make those stems if you want to. Sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't. Today, for the sake of argument, I'm just going to do my stem with my liner brush. It makes it a little bit easier to control. And again, I'm rolling my brush into the paint. I wonder if I really want to do that. No. So let's go ahead and dry those yellow flowers. Because if I put my hand up there, we're going to get yellow on it. So we're going to dry it in just a little bit. It's looking really, really nice. I like that. Sometimes things turn out the way I want them to and sometimes they don't. It's really pretty. I actually like
like it better than the original there. That's better. Now I won't worry about put, touching my hand to that. All right, so let's go back and get some green. A little bit of water, just so it makes it more, the paint flows a little bit easier. Twirl your brush there, and then I'm just gonna lightly take this down. And take this one down. Be a little bit, a little bit thicker. Don't want to sweat it too much. This is not supposed to be perfect. Now, if you take a little bit of the darker green. I had a little bit of the, the yellow mixed with this. So if you take a little bit of the darker green on your brush and just kind of line it down along the side, you kind of get a shadow effect, which very simple to do. You don't have to put any effort into it really. Just get your paint a little darker and then line it down. Now, We've got those leaves up there. I don't know if I've left myself enough room to put those leaves there. I'm gonna try it, just a small, a little bit smaller than what I've got there. I'm just gonna take it up a little bit here, kinda like that. I'm gonna use my liner brush to go ahead and put some put those leaves on. I'm adding a little bit of yellow to my green. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. And again, I'm rolling my brush. And we've got a leaf right here. We've got a leaf right here. I'm gonna make them a little smaller. Now that I've done that, I don't like those, that color green. I'm just going to darken it a little bit. Let's take some dark green. There, that's better. I like that better. Put inside my brush. Okay, now the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go over this yellow again, since this is dry now. Gonna go over it again. I may have to do it several times to get the depth of color that I need. Because this is just not a real good quality of paint. It's an artist quality, or a, a beginner's quality paint, student's quality, which is fine. You just need to go over a little bit. And it may end up that I'm gonna have to go over it white and then paint it again with yellow. These are kind of like little tricks of the trade here. Sometimes you have to stick a base, put a base coat down there before you can get the depth of color you want. And I think that's what's gonna happen. Because you can still see that rose. I'm gonna put another coat on there. But what I'm gonna do with this one, just gonna go ahead and put some white down and give it a coat of white. Then I'll go back as soon as it's dry. As soon as I dry it with the blue dryer. 
and I will give it a little heavy yellow. And I think that will make a load of difference. And I'm not trying to get this perfect. This is just, I'm laying this down as base coat. And using the filbert. I love this filbert. All right, I think that's going to work out really good. Now, I'm going to give that a few minutes to dry, and I'm going to go ahead and go down to this leaf and paint that one again. A lot of this is just a little bit of just going over it and going over it and going over it until it reaches the depth, or the brightness, the darkness, whatever of color that you're wanting. Now, as I said, if this was an artist grade paint, probably wouldn't have to do this. again because I can still see that. These are dry. So I'm going to go over these again just a little bit. Make them a little darker. Those are dark. Those are dark. This little bud up there the bigger bud. I like the little bud. This bigger bud could use a little bit of work. So I'm going to take some blue. It's a tiny bit of white. Take some blue. And I'm just going to go up from the bottom on this a little bit. Give it some depth. That's pretty. Doesn't take much. Doesn't take much at all. Take a little bit of white. There is some sun in here. Just a little bit of white. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. All right, so let's shoot this again with the heat. I'm not doing this yet because that's a black top. So we'll wait until we start doing our detail work. blow dryers but since we're in the library we happen to have a heat gun okay so here we go again with this green getting there. Maybe just one more. One more coat. Okay, I'm going to go over this with yellow. And this time I will try to make the petals
See how this yellow is much more vibrant? Then the other flower. Now we're going to go over these petals with black. So if you don't, if they're not looking like perfect petals right now, that's okay because we'll, we'll take care of that. And we're going to go over this top one as well. Okay, heat gun again. We're almost ready for the really fun part. The detail. I think that's a lot of fun. stock right there. We're going to use our liner brush and we're going to use black. I just need to put on some more black. going to go from here curved up into here okay try not to be intimidated by it it's okay if it's not perfect it's okay All right, one more green coat. And I think that will be the end of that one. Because it's really looking nice and dark now. Very nice. And I think one more coat of yellow right up there on that petal. That petal just does not want to be solid. It wants to be transparent. Once that rose color shows through, and I don't want that. All right, I think we.
we are ready to detail. Let me shoot that with some more heat. And we're done with our fill work. Start up at the top because that way we won't be putting our hand in the fresh paint as we line it. And we're just, like I said, going to go ahead and line everything. Everything is going to get lined. Try not to push too hard on your Your brush. Give it a light. Oh, guess what I forgot? I forgot those two little leaves on those flowers. I'll have to put those on. Let me put those on right now. Just take me a sec. Then we'll go line something else while they're Okay, now we're going to go ahead and while those are drawing, we're going to go over here and we're going to line this. you've done. Sometimes I have to give my hand a little rest before I start in again. And when your paint, when your brush acts like it's starting to drag across the canvas, just go back and grab some more paint. And remember, this is not supposed to be perfect. It's not supposed to look like an actual photograph. This is a whimsical painting.
this dry for just a minute. We're going to start on some roses. Now here, this is fun. This is fun. We are going to outline, and we're not going to outline it perfectly. We're going to kind of crinkle it as we go. And we're not going to be able to follow our brush strokes completely. This is what makes it fun. Don't try to be precise. Don't try to make sure you get one ending where another one starts. Not every bit of color has to be individually outlined either. Really nice. I'm doing an impressionist painting. An impression of roses. That's pretty. I like that one better than that one. That happens too. They're all not going to be exactly the way we want them. And roses are not completely perfect. Well, they are, but they're not. I've got some petals that don't grow the right way. Some of them are missing petals. Maybe. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and take some white and put our little dots in while we're waiting on this to dry. Because when that's dry, we'll trace it with our black and then we're done. So for the white, I'm not sure what the white was. I don't know if it's supposed to be raindrops or, I'm really not sure. So, I just know there's dots everywhere. Just little random dots here and there. I don't know why, but it does seem to make the picture kind of nice. It's just in the air, it's not done. It's nowhere else. I 
All right, let me shoot this with a little more of the heat gun because these little dots aren't drying real fast. I think paint's a little thicker on there. takes a gonna take some some little bit of care. I'm just lightly gonna outline these dots because everything else is outlined. So they'll look they're gonna look a little out of place if they're not outlined. So I'm just going over them really carefully, very lightly and outlining. Sure, I roll my brush. So I get that good point on the brush. If you have a Sharpie, and you want to do this with a Sharpie, please do that. It could, well, you have more control over a Sharpie, I guess. It's easier to, to hold and, and do what you're wanting to do. I totally get that. And I think that's done. I could have put another petal in there, but I didn't do it. I love these roses. I think they look really, really pretty. Really nice impressionist roses. Let's go ahead and outline these leaves. I'm sitting here looking at them. I could use some outline. So everything else is outlined, I might as well. There we go. Very pretty. I enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed it too, and please send me your pictures. I would love to see them, and we'll see you next time on Artable. Bye-bye.